Okay, so let's move to the last uh, factor, which is uh, profitability and quality. These are uh, pretty much uh, similar. That's why the authors put it put them together. But uh, I would say that profitability should be a subset of quality because uh, quality is a lot more encompassing. Right? So profitability are uh, talking about uh, more uh, profits uh, metrics that uh, like your uh, earnings, like your gross profits. All these are related to profitability. West quality can expand to a return on equity, return on assets, all these kind of things, which may not be uh, profit related. And uh, actually, if you ask me, yeah, quality should should encompass uh, profitability in that sense okay so what they did was uh, they ranked the US stock market by gross profitability okay so uh, I won't explain what it is you can go and research about it and uh, because we have no time for this um, what they did was identify the top 30 percent uh, stocks by gross profitability and also the bottom 30 percent stocks by gross profitability then you form the portfolio there so you have a group of high profitability stocks and a portfolio of low profitability stock and you long both of them for the same period and then you compare their performance. So likewise, there's our performance in high profitability stocks. This is a lot more intuitive for, for everybody, right? Uh, that's, uh, you want to buy higher quality stocks, it should give you higher returns. So the difference is about 3.1% per year if you buy higher profitability stocks versus low profitability stocks. So what I learned about profitability, right? Uh, one of the key things uh, was about this uh, accrual anomaly. Okay, so accounting system is accrual in the sense that, um, let's say you have one dollars earning, right? Okay, one dollar of uh, earnings per share. This one dollar, one whole dollar, like, may not be cash. Okay, may not be all cash. So there is a cash component, and then there's a non-cash component. All right. So the non-cash component is known as the accrual. Okay, this is accrual. So what they are trying to say, right? If your earnings is predominantly non-cash, right? You will end up with an accrual anomaly that even if your earnings is high, but most of them are non-cash, your future returns from this stock is going to be terrible. Okay, so it is not about the earnings, but a, a lot more about the amount of cash that a company generates. So that that is something that we should keep in mind when you use a uh, profitability. Um, uh, factor exposure make sure you do check for uh, the cash uh, element in terms of uh, the earnings that you are looking at to to express some of these metrics to make sure that you don't fall into this accrual anomaly issue okay